What's up guys, it's your girl Jessie V out here in Oakland. I got something a little different for you guys. So I'm out here asking strangers what's their opinion on R. Kelly and Jordan Woods situation. So let's get it started. Amber, Gina, Brittany. Okay, so let's first start off with what are your thoughts about R. Kelly, about his fans making a GoFundMe account to bail him out because he couldn't afford to bail himself out? Well, I think that's crazy. That is. <laughs> that is so crazy to me that they bailed him out. They loved him that much and didn't think he was that he was wrong at all for anything that he did to bail him out. And two, he didn't have no money. That's another thing that's crazy but, to me. I don't get, do they know, like, do they not believe what he did, or they just don't care? I feel like there's, a, like, a lot of work to be done in the black community in the sense of, like, how conservative we do have elements in ourselves. You know, we like to think, like, black people, just because we've been through repression or been through systems of, like, you know, power dynamics, like, being unfavorably against us, we are, in a sense, like, we're very slow to understand that, you know, just because this man is a black man and we have been oppressed in some way, like, there are black men capable of doing, like, very harmful things to our own. And the fact that we don't hold him accountable, then we let, we really, like, create the door for, like, you know, other men to not be held accountable in this sense, you know. First off, if he, if, if he can't afford to do something, he ain't broke ass nigga. First of all, I thought you was R. Kelly, you know, you should, you know, you should have a lot of money. Second off, a GoFundMe for what? The nigga is a fucking uh, child molester, fucking pedophile, all this shit, you feel me, like... That's just, that's just wrong. So in layman's terms, I'm very disappointed that he got bailed out because I feel like people need to understand um, the consequences of their actions. And I feel like um, maybe his uh, fans are clouded by his celebrity and don't rec recognize like the actions that he may or may not have committed, you know? As a black, as a black woman living in America and seeing so many, like I mean with Rihanna and Chris Brown in that situation, with so many like domestic situations that have happened in the male Justin Timberlake and Janet Jackson, like her career was like trash. It, it's not what it could have been. Like if that situation didn't happen, Justin Timberlake continued on to make a damn song about being happy, and like his career didn't suffer. Chris Chris Brown, like yeah, he may have got his hand slapped, but his career didn't suffer. So I think with R. Kelly, it's just like it's really like a wake up call. Just like with Trump, it should be a wake up call. Like why should this artist, with uh, like although it was on Lifetime and it should have been on CNN, why does why does R. Kelly what he did and all of these girls coming out whether you know i'm not gonna say that lie but whatever whatever the truth may be why does that why does it why is it looked over why why is it go for me account be created why why should he just not have his hand slapped be in jail do the time i don't understand it it's wrong period um i, I, you know, I mean from what i've heard it's wrong i wasn't there <laughs> i don't know i don't know but um, I mean, the overall story, yes, yeah, it's it's bad. It's not good. It's not it's not looking too good. And and if you're our killer and you don't got enough money saved up, um, there's something wrong with you, or you just it didn't invest yourself right. But I feel like you've been in the game so long, you invested yourself right, and this is just all a part of your game. Like we let this man slide, and how many more are we gonna let slide? And next, you know, it's gonna be a bigger problem. You know, just, it's not gonna be the exception anymore. It's gonna be the norm, and that's like the. The worst part about this. How do you guys feel about Jordan Woods? <laughs> you know, she was on the red table talk today. I want to watch that interview. Are you all team Jordan, team Chloe, team I'm Tristan? team I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bitch girl code. Come on. Get out, Tristan. Come on. Come on, bro. I'm sorry, but I'm team Jordan. I'm not saying that she's right because she's completely wrong. But I'm sorry, I've been looking at all the tweets and stuff today. And a lot of people brought up points with Kylie, Kim, and Black China, and Tyga, and then French Montana, Trina, and Chloe. So, and the nigga bench. Oh, sorry. And, he been, and he's, been, he's been cheating. So I don't see like how Jordan broke up the family. The whole situation is out of pocket. It's out of fucking pocket. But especially the fact that it's her best friend's sister, or you know, sister's baby daddy. You know, like. That is more like, okay, so there's girl code, and then on top of that, if it's your friends, baby daddy, you don't, that's just way out. That's, that's out the question, you feel me? Like, that is just, it's just, it's, 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 it's like girl code times 10, bitch. Like, I don't fucking know what to call it. Like, it's just, it's not right. I had to watch the Red Table Talk. I watched it actually before while I was getting ready. Girl, that's so why you, you didn't answer. <laughs> Whatever. I'm gonna watch it. But seriously, she took full responsibility. 
Um, I mean, she held herself completely accountable, and I feel like what I've seen, I don't really know her that well. Of course, I don't know her at all, but from what I've seen, it seems like she's grown a lot from this whole situation her, yeah. and her lifestyle as a whole. She found out that those people that were with her were not her friends. Uh, she knew that she wasn't supposed to be there at all. She should have never been there, even though when they were like, okay, we're going to Tristan's house, she should have been like, oh, no, it's, you know, it's after hours. I shouldn't be here. If you're going to, like, feel bad about something, go to the person that has, you know, like, why talk to somebody else about it instead of to the person who would actually, the situation it has involved with, you know, like, call her and let her know how you feel. Don't go public with this shit, like, what the fuck? The public, okay, yeah, maybe we might care, but we're our fucking irrelevant. Chloe is the one who really affected, you know, like, she's the one who really needs the apology and whatever, whatever the fuck, the call, the acknowledgement. Fuck the public. What the fuck do we gotta do with it? She finally broke her silence because her family was being threatened. Like, people were bullying her, and I don't think it's fair either that she's been crucified in the media just because people don't even know what happened. So, I, I'm Team Jordan. I'm gonna say I'm Team Jordan. I can say it takes a lot for, to come on at her age and her lifestyle to come on and come out and tell her truth. She's like 21. She's younger than us. Like, yeah, she's but like it's 21, just like, uh, you know, I, I like it's like the Kardashian clan kind of like. It's, the, those people that are, it's really hard to go against him, but it's yeah. just like I don't know. They I feel like she they play the victim and everything, but I mean they have the money and like the fame to do so. Right. And, and I don't base. feel like Jordan had anything to do with she breaking that up because her dumb ass shouldn't have got. I'm sorry, Chloe's dumb ass shouldn't have got back with Tristan and after he was publicly cheating on her was the first time. time. Exactly. In what's that quote? You lose him the same way you get him. Like you was with him when his baby mama was pregnant and he left her. Right. her. That's what you get, Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel bad for Chloe at all. I'm too Jordan. She came. She seemed like she was coming from a very sincere place. She knew what she was wrong. I mean, as far as like kissing the ass, I don't feel like she should be doing that. I mean, I apologize. She apologized. Um, all right, guys, that's it for tonight. Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, comment. All right. Have a good.